Well, the low housing inventory and sky high prices have left the dream of home ownership out of reach for some Arlington County, Virginia families. In fact, it's created what's been called the missing middle. Tonight, the county board voted unanimously to adopt new reform to eradicate nearly a century of racist exclusionary laws. As Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder explains tonight, the plan includes allowing developers to build duplexes and small condo buildings on lots zoned for single family homes. Tonight is a defining moment in the history of a small county confronting our nation's atrocities of the past. We've talked about our current system being a vestige of exclusion. Arlington County uh, Board Chair uh, Christian Dorsey drew attention to the way the community was designed a century ago. So As more black families moved in, white leaders changed zoning laws for housing, making it more difficult for black families to buy in Arlington, a wealth disparity that can last generations. That's what it was designed to do. And effectively, even though that's not the intent of anybody who lives in those places today, that's what it successfully has done for generations. A housing reform plan called Missing Middle is the county's attempt to make home ownership a reality for more people of different incomes. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Unanimously approved, Missing Middle will allow developers to build multiple units on a single family lot, from a duplex up to six units depending on the lot size. Now, that $4 million lot in a great neighborhood could have four condos instead of a 4,000 square foot home, bringing it closer to reality for the middle class. It's historic, it's monumental, and it's just going to create um, homes for people who cannot access a home in Arlington County. Though not everyone is so optimistic. In theory, a duplex would be cheaper than a single family home, but the county is not setting any price limits, so the market will dictate cost. The average African American uh, median income is 66,000 and you need 193,000 a year to pay to pay for the smallest unit. So this is not addressing the key issue of diversity, which I think we all share in this community. So even though the vote was unanimous, every one of the Arlington County board members acknowledged that this plan isn't perfect and that they intend to revisit it over the next couple of years, make some tweaks, figure out what's working and what isn't. Reporting in Arlington County, Drew Wilder, News 4. Now, the missing middle reform plan will take effect in July and the county will approve a maximum of 58 applications per year to develop single family lots into multifamily buildings.